Senator Thad Cochran from Mississippi has a primary challenge. Uh, it's a Republican who is to the right of him, of course. Right? Uh, it's Republican State Senator Chris McDaniel. And uh, he's going to run against Thad Cochran, and he's got a lot of conservative support. Well, he's a fascinating character. He said some interesting things in the past. My favorite is what he said about Hollywood. Apparently, they have a pro-Muslim bias. Really? <laughs> okay, well, let me give you the quote. Now, this is back from 2006, and it was uncovered recently by a blog, uh, Dark Horse Mississippi, that covers politics in Mississippi. Now, he said, quote, It's funny how the movies have portrayed themselves lately and how the video games have portrayed themselves lately. There's one person that cannot be a villain in Hollywood, ever. <laughs> ever. I love that. One group that cannot be villains. One group that cannot be villains. Who is that? Co-host says, the Muslims. He says, yeah, isn't that neat? They'll go out of their way to find some Russian white guy that's just nuts, and he's a terrorist, which I've never seen that. But the Muslims, they've just disappeared from Hollywood's radar. Really? I hadn't noticed that. So, Look, this list could go on and on. We just compiled the quickest list we could get in, in the time that we had. Let me read you uh, some Hollywood movies where the Muslims are the bad guys. Iron Man, True Lies, Aladdin. Well, I'll give him a break on Aladdin. Muslims are also the good guys there. <laughs> the Siege, Executive Decision, Argo, Zero Dark Thirty. A little bit of a break. That's at least based on reality, even though the part about torture isn't true. But the bad guys were Muslims in real life. Okay. Back to the Future, Killing Streets, Navy Seals, The Human Shield, Patriot Games, Roll Over, Hostage Flight, Ministry of Vengeance, Terrorists on Trial, Hot Shots, Hot Shots Part de The Delta Force, <laughs> and far, far more. But you see how Hollywood is so nice to Muslims. They would never make a movie where the Muslims are the villains. It's always a white guy. Man, they live on a whole different planet. <laughs> on that planet, uh, the Christians in America are the victims they're so out of power, the poor guys, they've only had every single president. <laughs> but, but in their world, they're besieged. And Muslims run the country, and we all live under Sharia law. And Hollywood loves Muslims. All right, but that's not all. Uh, first of all, this guy, like I said, is not some fly-by-night guy. I mean, he's backed right now by the Senate Conservatives Fund, the Club for Growth, and the Madison Project. All very large conservative groups. So. This guy's backed by the establishment of the right wing against the sitting Republican senator who is massively right wing. But apparently, according to those groups, not right wing enough because he doesn't realize how biased Hollywood is in favor of Muslims. But that's not the only thing. He says, uh, to have a little bit more fun, uh, what are the uh, Democrats? He says, quote, they're a party of sex on demand. If that's true, I should change my uh, status from independent to Democrat. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Okay, I wager to say that sounds good to a lot of Americans. That is not what they are. I wish they were, but they're not. Okay. Uh, he also says of the Democrats that they want homosexual marriage and polygamy completely legal in all 50 states. There's not a single Democrat in the country who's argued for polygamy. <laughs> there are, of course, Mormons who are very Republicans who have. <laughs> okay, but that's a different matter. But as long as you're making up stuff, what difference does it make? And then he said cutesy things like this. Osama, <laughs> I mean Obama, might be somebody who follows God in some respects. That's a twofer there. He doesn't really believe that Obama's a Christian and refers to him as Osama. Very classy guy. You can see why all the large conservative groups are behind him. And then finally, uh, this one is my favorite. You want to talk about absurd. He says the reason Canada is bringing out with brand new gun violence has nothing, nothing to do with the United States and guns. Interesting. It has everything to do with a culture that is morally bankrupt. What kind of culture is that? It's called hip hop. Okay, gee, I, I wonder what he means by that. I can't quite piece it together. And I didn't realize that Canada had a hip hop epidemic. <laughs> is that what's going on in Canada? I mean, the guns that are causing the violence are not the actual problem. It's black folks, I mean hip hop. And American culture has gone over there with all the hip hop in Canada, and that's what's causing the problems. Well, this Chris McDaniel guy seems like a real class act. So those are your two choices, Republicans in Mississippi. Enjoy.